Head Games! What's up, boys and girls? Dave from Head Games here. Today we're going to talk about valve springs. Now, a lot of people think you can just purchase a valve spring and it just magically goes in on the right height that the valve spring manufacturer calls out for. But guess what? Failure happens because people don't measure stuff and they expect it to just magically be in the right area. You don't know about where, you don't know where your valve height is, your spring height is, and they just install it. And then the failure happens and guess who they blame? Holy shit, I bought so-and-so spring and it destroyed my cams and destroyed all my valve train. No, you destroyed it by not doing the due diligence of making sure it was installed right. So today I'm gonna to show you a quick way, an easy way to measure spring height. My friend Greg, Greg Kaludis over at GSC showed me this and it's a, it's a really cool and easy way to measure spring height. All right, to get started, you just need a few things. Razor blade, the valve going in your head, the retainer, the valve locks, keepers, whatever you want to call them. You need a calculator. Math is very important here. And a measuring device. You need a caliper. So to start off, you want to zero your caliper. Just make sure it repeats. Hit it a couple times, it repeats. You're going to take this razor blade. Now we use a razor blade because, no, I did not cut my finger making this video. Uh, so we want to use a razor blade because you want a straight edge. You want something that you can use as a reference when you're measuring the retainer, as you'll see in a couple minutes. So we have 24 thousandths thick. We want to zero that. So now let's make sure we're good. It repeats. All right, now we're on to measuring. All right, you take your valve, take your retainer, stick your retainer on there. Put the locks in the right direction, yeah. right? Now pull up on it, make sure it spins. We're good to go. We're gonna take our razor blade, you stick it on top of the retainer as such. All right, so now we're gonna measure from underneath the retainer to the top of the valve. Cause that is where your spring's gonna sit. We'll call that 180. 185, okay? So now you take your valve, you're gonna go back into the valve guide. You're gonna take your caliper. You're gonna measure from the seat to the top of the valve. We had a protrusion height where the valve was protruding all the way from the spring base to the top of the valve at 1.515. And you subtract, the math that we got earlier is 0.185 equals 1.330. Call out for this spring is 1316. So we know here that we have to use a 15,000th shim to make it right. So, in conclusion, remember that spring height is very, very important. It is what actually the most important thing that goes into your cylinder head. It's gonna create so much havoc if it's wrong. It's gonna take out cams. It's gonna take out uh, the, the valves. It's gonna take out everything. So we need to make sure that when we do install it, that they are installed at the correct height, not just willy dilly in it and stick it in there and thinking because the manufacturer says that this is how many pounds it is that it actually is that spec in the cylinder head because that is completely not true. You have to measure it. You have to know where you are. And by doing this, you can also kind of tell if there has been an issue previously because if you've been experiencing valve float and the valve is now beat up and you go to check the height and the height is way off, or say if it's like 20 or 30 off, 23 thousandths, 
then you know we have a problem. The head needs to come off, not just put a stronger spring and call it a day. That's my little two cents. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Smash that like button, subscribe. See you guys soon.